Chances are, you know who a wedding planner is, right? Someone who helps a couple plan their wedding day. But what you have probably not realized is that there are different types of wedding planners out there offering unique services and level of involvement for their clientele. So if you are newly engaged, you are staring at that sparkly ring on your finger as you type wedding planner into your Google search bar, my hope is that the results lead you to this video that says, nope, not all wedding planners are the same. So today, I'm going to explain the six common types of wedding planners we have out there and help you figure out which one suits you the best. So number one on my list is full service planners. If sit back, relax, and enjoy your service as a person, it will be this type of service. So a full service planner is just how it sounds, someone to help you plan your wedding from start to finish. These people are usually there to help support you throughout your wedding planning journey. So they are usually the first type of vendors you have to hire. They are often there to offer the highest level of support you need throughout your wedding planning journey. And they are often the first ever vendors to be hired. The reason why it is advised to hire them first is so that you don't make any mistake with the choice of vendors or make any decision that will ultimately affect your wedding day in a negative way. It is their job to recommend and hire trusted vendors, create and stick to your budget, manage your planning timeline, handle guest lists and invitations, facilitate venue tours, and direct everybody and everything that concerns the wedding day itself. So you may be asking, who needs this kind of wedding planner? So a full service planner is mostly ideal for couples who do not have the time, maybe due to the nature of their work, or people that are overwhelmed with the whole wedding planning process, or maybe you have a large family, or a large guest size, or simply you do not have the patience to take on those minute details of the entire wedding planning process. Whatever the case may be, a full service planner is out there to help you alleviate any pressure you may feel on your wedding day, especially if you're outside Ghana. A la carte, partial or part-time planners is number two on my list. So this is a more customized approach to wedding planning. This type of planner offers all the services and expertise that a full service planner would offer you, but only the part of your weddings that you choose. For example, you may be fine with finding and booking your own vendors, but you need someone on grounds to help you scout locations for the ceremony. And that's when a part-time service planner comes into play. So the advantage of this type of service is that you get professional service where you need it. But the disadvantage of this service is that it lacks a cohesive best eye view of your overall wedding. So this type of service is ideal if you have already started your planning or maybe you have started but there are some areas that you feel you need a professional touch on or maybe due to budget constraints you can't book um, a full service planner or maybe you just can't relinquish control. The third type of service on my list is wedding coordinators. So this type of planners work on the wedding day itself to execute already made plans. The coordinator will communicate and confirm all the final details of your wedding day to the appropriate vendors and manage the flow and execution of your wedding day timeline, which they created. So a wedding coordinator will be suitable for someone who wants to spend the last few weeks or month leading up to the wedding day just relaxing, no stress, no thought of weddings. So if you're loving today's video so far, which I know you are, kindly drop a heart in the comments for me. I highly encourage you to watch through to the end because trust me, number six is going to be a shocker. So to my fourth type of service planners, and that is going to be destination wedding planners. So a destination wedding planner is quite similar to a full service wedding planner. The only difference is that a destination wedding planner is an expert in planning weddings outside the country you live in. In addition to the full scope of planning, they would help you with your travel and accommodations, design trip itineraries, and navigate cultural differences, laws, and regulations. So who needs a destination wedding planner? This type of planners are crucial for couples planning their weddings from afar. When you and your partner cannot readily visit your wedding location, it is helpful to have trustworthy professionals there in your place to inform you of important regional specific information you might not know about, such as weather patterns, local happenings, travel tips, etc. So my fifth type of planners are the referrals only service planners. So this type of planners are perfect for people or couples who are only seeking help with finding proper and suitable suppliers and locations for their wedding. So once you finalize everything and determine the style and budget for your wedding, then you go to these referrals only wedding planners for the suitable and proper recommendations for your wedding day. Finally, specialty planners is the last on my list. So this type of wedding planners 
usually fulfill a particular function or focus on a particular aspect of your wedding day such as design and decor. What they will not do is perform the same functions as the previously discussed wedding planners. Instead, they deal with the look and aesthetics of your wedding, especially around the wedding reception. They will handle things such as your color scheme, the style that you want for your wedding reception decor, your floor plan, your lighting, etc. So just like the above planners we discussed, we'll assemble a team of vendors to help them execute your wedding vision. The same way these specialty planners, also known as decorators, will assemble a team of vendors, but these vendors are mostly carpenters, electricians, trust builders, florists, etc. to help them execute your wedding vision. There are so many incredibly talented wedding planners out there like myself, but each has their own unique personality. So before you book a wedding planner or when you're in the process of finding your wedding planner, you have to find someone that you have a rapport with, someone that you can see yourself working with long term. Ask yourself, is this person someone I can talk to for a whole year without any issues or even if there is an issue, we can look past that issue. And that can only be decided if you meet the person, even before you make any payments. You have to talk to your wedding planner. So if you're in the same location with them, let's say you are both in the same city, you meet with them over lunch, over drinks, anything, or even if you are not in the same country with them, you schedule a video call, build a rapport, talk to the person, vibe with the person and know that this person is someone that you can, you see yourself going the long haul with. Wedding planning shouldn't be a daunting task. It should be as fun and as stress-free as possible. So you need someone who would help you ensure exactly that. If you are not planning to go with a full service planner for whatever reason, then I have another video here that you need to watch. And don't forget to subscribe because I have more content like this coming up.